Okay, 2a is our first definite integral. Um, you should recognize u sub here. The derivative of what's inside the square root is um, something times x. And I have an x on the top. So what I'm going to do is do my integration using u sub. Um, there are some subtle things with this that you'll learn later. Um, kind of, I'm doing a little wrong, but it doesn't really make a difference for our purposes. Just want to put that little disclaimer out there, and you'll know what I'm talking about when I come back for the second semester. Anyway, so um, I'm going to let uh, u equal x squared plus 1. My du is equal to 2x. Notice I have an x there, so what I'm going to do is divide by 2. So it's a little bit easier to manage than, like, for example, the coefficient in e from the previous problem. So what I get is um, 1 half du equals x. So now I can sub that in right here. And I can sub this in right here. So uh, as I sub it in, I get this is equal to um, integral. And this is the spot where I'm not totally doing it right. But it doesn't mess up how we get our answer. Um, so I get integral of... Um, I'm going to pull the one-half out front. That one-half comes from this. I'm going to reorder some things. Um, which I'll, I'll write it out. as du over square root of u. Um, and I want to reorder things so that I can integrate. Um, and it's from 0 to 3. Remember, that's x equal 0 to 3. So, um, this is uh, 1 half integral 0 to 3 of, remember, x equals 0 to 3, of, um, uh, I'm going to write it as u, oof, u to the negative 1 half du. Well, that's actually not that bad, especially um, with that 1 half out front. Um, I get, uh, Bump it up, I get u to the 1 half uh, plus c, which is, actually, we're doing a definite integral, so I don't even need to do my plus c, so I'm going to leave it out. Um, and then the 1 half actually balances, and if I were to derive this line, this last line that I drew here, get a 1 half out front. So that's actually the right coefficient for that, so I'm just going to leave it like this. So um, what I need to do... Um, and that is evaluated from, and this is where I'm going to be very specific, all right, x equal to 0 to x equal to 3. I don't want to plug 0 and 3 in for u. It's kind of one of the subtleties that we haven't talked about yet, replacing the u's. Um, so anyway, um, that gives me, um, I replace this in this, which gives me, um, I need to do um, x squared plus 1 to the 1 half, so that's root of it, evaluated from 0 to 3, which is um, pretty easy to do. I do, I plug 3 in to this thing, which gives me um, root uh, 3 squared plus 1, which is 9 plus 1, which is 10, and then I need to subtract plugging 0 into x for this thing. So that just gives me root 1, which is 1. And that is my answer.